it will tend to bend the column in such a way that the maximum moment is generated at zone C. The standard length of reinforcement bars is 12 meters. As we all know, if the span of a structural member such as beam or column needs to be increased beyond the usual length of reinforcement bar, we must also raise the length of steel bars by adding extra reinforcement bars. If the straight bars are added end to end, then there is a risk of steel sliding out of concrete, which can be avoided by overlapping the bars. The goal of overlapping is to keep the steel bars connected so that the load can be safely transferred from one steel bar to the next. Hence the main functions of overlapping are to maintain the continuity of steel and to transfer the load safely from one bar to the next bar. In this lecture, I am going to discuss what should be the position of lap in case of columns. To make it easy for you, let's consider a slab column junction. Let's divide the column into three zones, that is zone A, zone B and zone C. The zone A and zone C are considered as the most critical zones in comparison to the intermediate zone, that is zone B. The reason being that due to lateral loads, that is seismic or wind loads, these end zones are subjected to maximum bending moment in comparison to the intermediate zone, that is zone B. For illustration, let's consider a column which is subjected to some lateral load. If the load is applied in zone A, it will tend to bend the column in such a way that the maximum moment is generated at zone C. If this load is applied in zone B, both the end zones will experience maximum bending moment in comparison to the intermediate zone. Similarly, if the load is applied in zone C, the maximum moment will be generated at zone A. In all the cases, the end zones will experience maximum bending moment, which means maximum tension. Therefore, it would not be safe to overlap the bars in any of the critical zones, that is, tension zones. Rather, it should be provided in the intermediate zone where the member experiences the minimum bending moment. This is applicable to both the beams and the columns. It should be noted that the overlapping of bars should not be done at the same level inside a member. Rather, it should be done at alternative levels to avoid the buckling of column. As per IS13920, both the critical zones lie at a distance of L by 4 from their respective ends. So this was all about this lecture. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Thank you.